The University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons got back at University of Santo Tomas with a convincing 83-69 win to claim solo fourth in the standings and a shot at a first final four spot in more than two decades in the UP season 81 men's basketball at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Nigerian rookie Bright Akuiti finished with 25 points and 18 rebounds, Paul Desidero added points, while Juan Gomez de Liano had 11 points off the bench, as UP improved the 7-6, half game ahead of 6-6 Far Eastern University for the fourth and last semi-final spot. The best thing that this win has done for us is to place us in a position to fight for that slot. We need that one win on Wednesday, set up coach Bo Parasol, referring to his team's game against De La Salle. We have to put this win behind us. We cannot overthink this because there is a much more crucial game on Wednesday, he added. Ust, which got 26 points from Marvin Lee, fell to 5-8 to formally bow out in the semi-final race for the third straight season and first under new coach Alden Ayo. In the first game, Adamson tightened its defense when it mattered the most to turn back a gritty University of the East Red Warriors 5, 85-72 and earn a playoff for the no. Two spot and a twice to beat incentive in the semi final round. Dot down by six points 59 53 with three minutes left in the third period. Adamson's tandem of Jarek Atten Missy and Sean Manganti starred in a 12 0 run as the Falcons grabbed a 65 59 lead entering the final frame. Adamson took control from there as it dictated the tempo. A three point play by Cameroonian center Poppy Sar opened an 11 point spread for the Falcons, 72 61, with 6.22 to play. Ahan Missy led Adamson with 23 points, Manganti finished with 19 points, while Jerem Lastimosa came off the bench with 10 points, and Sar added 9 points and 25 rebounds. Sometimes you have a flat start thinking. That the other team would just roll over, said Adams and coach Franz Pumeran. Good thing we were able to regroup. I had to say sweet nothings to them, players, during halftime. Dot the way we were putting pressure on them, we were able to make stops. We showed the Adamson way of playing defense, Pumeran added as Adamson scored 28 points off 16 UE turnovers. Adamson's victory improved its record to 10-3, half game behind defending champion and league leader Atenio at 10-2. More importantly for the Falcons, it earned the team of at least a playoff for one of two twice to beat incentives in the Final Four. Well, of course, we still have to look at the remaining schedule. It depends this weekend as it is crucial, said Pumran referring to his former team De La Salle, which takes on Atenio today with hopes of creating a tie at 10-4 for the no. Two spot in the playoffs. A win by the Blue Eagles or a victory by the Falcons against the Far Eastern University Tamaraws on November. 18 will end the Green Archers' hope of the second spot and twice to beat in the semifinals. UE's Alvin Paseo made history when as he scored 24 points to bring his per-game average to 24. 75, the highest for a local in the league since 2003. Paseo's current averages eclipsed the 22. Two points per game of one-time Foo star Terence Romeo back in 2013. And with a game left against New on Sunday, Pasale has a chance to overtake former LaSalle Ben Bala's 24.